Hey Grace Kids, let's worship together. Like a headlight shining in dark of night You're the hope that's given me brand new life You are all I'll ever need Come on. Though my heart ran fire, you are always there Like a headlight guiding my every step You're the hope that's leading me back again You are all I'll ever need You are Janine and Pastor Chris here. We're so excited. Today's going to be an awesome Sunday. That's right. And we're going to get started with our core values. So, Pastor Anya, what's the first thing we always say? We always love God, right? That's the first thing. We love God and the Bible says to love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul and all your mind. And that's the first and greatest commandment. And the second thing, Pastor Chris, what is it? We love others. The Bible says to love your neighbor as you love yourself. And so at Grace Kids, we love God and we love others. That's right. So we always love God and we always love others. We're super excited about today because it's going to be an amazing day. And today's episode is all about living a life of worship. So we invited a worship leader to come and join us. Hey, yeah. guys. everyone. Welcome, Pastor Lauren. Thanks for having me. So we have a few questions about worship. We're learning about living a life of worship, and I just need to know, like, when we come together and we worship, like, is there a certain posture I need to have? Like, do I need to lift my hands, or do I need to be on my knees? Like, well... Oh, yeah, and speaking about posture, is there any new postures that we need to know about? Maybe something like this, or like this, or mm. with a foot, I don't know. Do I need to, like, take singing lessons to be a good worshiper? Like, what does that look and like? And why do they even call it worship? Oh, good question. Well, worship is more than just music. It's participating in God's story with your whole heart, soul, and mind. 
Oh, okay. But you have to have the right postures, you know, like that praise power video? What's the praise power video? Hi, I'm Judy Joy, and this is Praise Power. You are watching our advanced moves video, so if you haven't already watched our beginner moves, go ahead and eject this tape and put in tape one. Now, you look like you're ready to wow your worship leader with wonder. Let's do this. Building off of that step touch we mastered, let's go ahead and increase difficulty and just wave one arm. Wave your troubles all way, that's right. Go ahead and take your free hand, and anytime those lyrics say love, devotion, or heart, just tap your chest. Now close your eyes. Really feel it. Now only close your eyes when you've mastered the first part of this move. Let's build off of that knee pop we learned in the beginner stages. Let's put some juice in this jubilation. Raise those arms in the air. Now make concentric circles towards yourself. Now, this move will take some practice, but will create a worship stance that says there's some excitement in my exaltation. Here's a little Judy Joy praise power secret. These moves can be utilized outside the church experience. We're gonna take these moves into the world at large. We're getting groceries and count your blessings. Oh, oh, Scott's got the right idea. Drop to your knees. Thank God for grace. Head to protection. Oh, Scott's got it. Spread the good news. Put some motion in your devotion and practice these moves until they become second nature. I'm Judy Joy and this has been Praise Power. I had no clue that that video existed. And that's not what worship really is about. Yes, we come to worship together in the church, and yes, we come together and maybe we lift our hands and surrender to the Lord, but worship is way more than that. Worship is about surrendering your life to God every day, that your heart is leaning towards Him. Maybe it's you being kind to your brother or your sister or obeying your parents. You're worshiping God when you do that too. Oh, that's awesome. So worship is something you do with your life, not just with your hands. Absolutely. It's a choice you can make every day to worship the Lord with your life. I'm gonna try to explain this in the simplest way possible. So scholars and researchers have done tons of study on the brain during worship. Like what happens in our minds when we worship and sing to God. When we listen to music, any music, not just worship music, a lot of our brain is really active, especially the areas that process sound. But also your brain is active in your left temporal lobe. That's where language happens. And in the right hemisphere, that's where creativity happens and in your corpus callosum. That's the channel of neuropathways between both hemispheres of your brain. See, there's one level of neuroactivity associated with just listening to music, but there's a whole nother level of activity that happens when it comes to actively participating in or creating together, as we do when we're singing. When you look at what happens in a room full of Christians singing praise music, it's incredibly participatory compared to just being at a concert or listening in your car. Everyone who is singing along is contributing to the environment of the room. And that, that whole, we're all in this together, it amplifies the effects that music has on our thoughts and our awareness. And this comes with lots of benefits. First, an increased capacity to process language. Second, a positive state of mind. Third, a higher sense of self-worth and self-esteem. When we worship together, a room full of brains start to create these neurological patterns that are similar to each other. We see this in a brain scan. As people start to contemplate everything that's happening, the lyrics, the singing, the environment of the room, you start to rise and transcend your focus beyond yourself. You go from thinking about yourself and your needs, to your family, to your community, to your city, to your part of the world, to all of humanity, and then ultimately to God. You see, worship steps you into these broader views of reality. This transcendent state is amplified by the music and by everyone doing it together. And because of our social identities, because of the power of music, because of the participation that's happening, it creates such an elevated experience it gives a greater chance for other people to join in and to experience God. So yeah, worship is not just about singing. Worship actually helps us say, it's not about me. Worship unifies us with God and others.
What's up, Grace Kids? I'm Pastor Ryan. And I'm Pastor Lauren. And we have a new game for you today called New Song, song Old, old lyrics. lyrics. And here is how you play. We're going to choose lyrics to a popular praise song and then choose a style. We will then perform the song with an entirely new tune. Entirely new. Are you ready for this? Yes. Okay. Very ready. I've heard you wanted to go first. I'm going to go first. Let's do this. Yes. Okay. All right. The style is K-pop. Okay. Pop. Okay. And the song is Amazing Grace. Classic. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm ready if you are. I'm ready. I okay. born ready. Yeah. Mm. I feel like you're gonna get Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Gotta feel it. Okay. Mm. Amazing grace, sweet sound that saved a wretch like me. Mm. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind, but now I see. Twas grace that taught my heart to fear, and grace my fears relieved. That's about as far as I can go. I, I, you I know, had to give it to yeah. you. That was really good. Well, yeah. I appreciate yeah, that. I'm that a really huge K-pop fan. I, I'm new. I'm new to yeah, K-pop. So, yeah, so. Do you guys know about K-pop? You probably do. Okay, Yeah. my turn. Yes. All right. Yeah. Rock and roll. Rock and roll. In Christ alone. Okay. Kids, I need you to get your air guitars out. Here we go. You mm -hmm. too. You got it. I'm ready. Mm. I need the intro down first. I got it, yeah. Okay. I'm in crash alone. Mm. My hope is found. He is my mm. life. My strength, my song. starting to feel it. Well, there. you kind of distracted me, but that's okay. <laughs> story of my life. Oh, story of my life. No, we're not doing that. Okay, I think it's your turn, sir. It is my turn. Okay. So the next, oh, <laughs> rap. This is now going to go viral because this is what everybody wants to see. It's Pastor Ryan rapping. This is making my day. And the song is Jesus Loves Me. Here we go with my hip hop debut. Okay. Yeah, it's coming. Okay. I feel it, but it's not there yet. Yeah, <laughs> it's getting there. I can't take it seriously like this. Here we go. Okay. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Oh, little ones to him be long. Listen, they are weak, but he is strong. Oh, yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Not bad. Yes, Jesus loves me. That's what I heard. Yeah, the Bible tells me so. Good, good. Okay, my turn. Last one. Country. You're a little bit country. Am I? And I'm a little bit rock and roll. I, actually, that's true. That's very accurate. Okay, I've got the joy, 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 joy. Okay. Make sure you get them all in there. I will. Okay, I'm ready. I got this one. You see, I knew the I knew the how it I've got the joy, 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 joy. I've got the joy, 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 joy. Why am I playing the track? Tell me my heart. You want to play with me? I've got the joy, 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 joy. It's in the heart. In the yeah, heart. Down. Yeah. Deep down in That's the heart. That's where you'll find it. Kids, yeah. this was fantastic. 
You should play this at home with your parents because you I feel like you would have a lot of fun. And Thank video you. it and put it out there because we want to enjoy it with you. Absolutely. Thank you for playing this game. New, New song, song, old lyrics. lyrics. Here's what it says. Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. See, worshiping God isn't just about praising and singing and dancing, but worshiping God is participating in His story with your whole heart, your whole soul, and your whole mind. When we worship God, this pleases Him. Now, did you know that when you listen to your parents and you're obedient to what they ask you to do, that this is worshiping God? The Bible says to honor your father and mother. And that when you do this, that it's pleasing to God and it's worshiping Him. See, worshiping God is more than just singing a song when you're at church. It's more than just dancing to a praise song when on a Sunday morning, it's more than just music. Worshiping God is about living a lifestyle that pleases Him. So in your life, whatever you do, wherever you're going, ask yourself, is what I'm doing pleasing to God? Is this worship to Him? And find yourself living in a way that's worshiping God. Because worship is more than just music. Worship is a lifestyle. 